Well, I think I got the last of it out. Hey, I'm really sorry about that. It never occurred to me to turn the mixer off before I took it out of the bowl. I guess I forgot to mention that to Chad. Are they done yet? No, oh, they're still cold. They uh, cook better with heat. I'm never going to get the hang of this. Oh, it's only your first day in the kitchen. By the time I'm through with you, you'll be a master chef. Either that or I'll be completely mummified in cookie dough. Well, hey, I really appreciate your help. Nancy won't even let me in the kitchen to get a drink of water, let alone cook. She's a smart girl. I must remember to tell her how smart I think she is. Well, the dishes are almost done. Would you like me to put them away? Uh, no, I'll do that later. Uh, excuse me, one second. We're just making cookies. Honey, I had to come and tell you the good news. I got the part! You're kidding. You are looking at the Northside Community Theater's next star. Oh, congratulations, honey. That's wonderful. I'm sure you're going to be a great Bloody Mary. Oh, Bloody Mary nothing. Girl, I got the role of Nellie Farbush. What? The director said I was so good I deserved the lead. <laughs> Even like my audition. Oh, well, I see. Well, I think that's wonderful. I'm sure you'll bring a new perspective to the role. <laughs> Smells like whatever is cooking is done. Oh my god, the cooking. Oh, oh it's done. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're uh, really done. I wasn't sure. I didn't hear the smoke alarm go <gasps> off. Neither did I. I turned them up to broil. Nancy always says that that makes them cook faster. Well, they might be salvageable. Either that or we could use them as paperweights. Hi, Tommy. Bill, what are you two up to? Jeffrey's teaching me how to cook. Really? Well, I can hardly wait to taste your cookie. <clears throat> I don't think you'll want anything from this batch. I know! You can make me an opening night dinner! What? Tommy was just cast in a musical. We open in four weeks. That should give you plenty of time to practice. I guess so. What do you think? I think I'll have to get more fire insurance. That's no problem. You guys can make dinner at my house. All right. Then it's settled. I have to go practice my lines. I'll call you later. I'll see you in four weeks. Bye. Four weeks, huh? I guess four weeks should be enough time. After all, God only had one week. A toast to Anita. May your voice take flight. May your words ring true. Break a leg tonight. Better yet, break two. Oh! <laughs> Cheers! Cheers. Dinner's ready. Oh, wonderful! I still can't believe you let Bill cook this whole meal on his own. <sighs> he insisted. All I did was set the timer on the stove and set the table. Well, I hope you know I'm not taking responsibility for anything this evening. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll be fine. Honey, that was a wonderful meal. You know, I must admit it was very good. Thank you. Bill, don't worry about doing the dishes. We'll take care of them later. Oh, no. A good cook always cleans after himself. I love you. You've tamed my savage beast. <laughs> Anita! Don't you think you should be getting ready? Honey, are you okay? I suddenly feel very woozy. You don't look good, dear. I don't know what's come over me. I felt fine before dinner. It's probably just nerves. Yeah. 
Oh! Are you in pain? My stomach is killing me. Maybe it was something you ate. But I've never gotten sick from food before. Except once I got very sick from eating some seafood. But I just avoid that stuff. What did you say? Seafood. I can't eat any type of shellfish or else I get deathly sick. Honey, what exactly happens to you when you eat shellfish? Well, first I get a stomach ache. And then I break out in a rash. And then I blow up like a balloon. We'd better get her to the emergency room. What? Honey, the sauce on the pasta was clam sauce. Oh, my God. I thought those were mushrooms. I'll get the car. But I can't get sick. It's opening night. Honey, don't worry. I'll call the theater and I'll tell them what's happened. Uh, but I don't have an understudy. Who's going to play Nellie for me if I have to sit and I... Mother, five minutes to curtain. I'm almost ready. I'll be right out. How do I look? You look great. Oh, I hope I remember all the words to the songs. You'll be fine. Listen, Mom, the director's up there right now telling the audience you're going to be reading from the script. I don't think I've ever been this nervous in my whole life. I don't think you have anything to worry about. You look great. How's Anita? Well, when I last spoke to Nancy, she said that the doctors were going to have to keep him, her, Anita, overnight. Braces, please. Oh, wish me luck, dear. Break a leg, Mom. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. We're here. Oh. Yes, we're here. Oh. You're fine. Welcome home. How are you feeling? Fine. Where's your mother? She's asleep. I think that all the excitement of the theater did her in. I heard she was wonderful. She was excellent. But everyone agreed that she couldn't hold a candle to you. <laughs> nice cover. Did they really say that? Sure they oh, did. Yes, of course. Oh. Lunch is ready. Is anybody hungry? No! <laughs> <laughs> oh. 